Okay, today's video, I just wanted to show sometimes me and my wife go out to the car races and stuff like that. And sometimes, like, when we're there, I'll, you know, see, like, a cool logo or something. See, like, this kind of thing. Uh, I just wanted to show you, if you did take a photo of something while you're out, you know, if you wanted to get it onto the laser, because from here, this is in Google Photos at the moment, I can copy the image from here, and if I go to Lightburn and paste it by pressing Control and V, right click on it and trace it, you can see it don't do a very good job. It's kind of like, you know, it's a bit messed up. I just wanted to show a way that you can get around that. So I use Photoshop, but a lot of programs would do the same thing. So once you've got it copied into your, onto your clipboard, so once you press Control and C, or you right click and say copy image, then when you click new file in Photoshop, it will automatically generate the first file is going to be the, your clipboard. You can see there it's written clipboard. So when you click that, it will open up the page, the correct size. So now either you can go to edit and click paste, or you can just press control and V and it will paste it there. And one thing Photoshop has is if you go to select up the top here and down to color range, you just use this tool to click on you know your main subject and then you can use this fuzziness will give you like more tolerance on that color the more you move this up the more tolerance so you can see if i go right to the other end now it's including you know this darker stuff what's down here so you just want to mess around with this a little bit so it looks like you've got a nice you know nice image and nothing extra so i'm going to slide mine to about 87 and say okay you can see now it's giving me like a selection so i'm going to press Control and c to copy Control and v to paste and turn the layer below off and now you can see it's a little bit like spotty and it's a little bit transparent to fix that is really easy so you just if you hold Control and you can see if I hover over my layer on top of the image and press control you can see that little selection box coming up so you hold control and click there and now you can see it's reselected that selection again and then open up a new layer and using the brush on black just go right over the top of the image and that will you know color all that in nice so now if I press control and D I can turn this layer underneath off now because really all you need is this top layer and then you know you can just crop it into this and then this way when you take it back into Photoshop it will give you a perfect trace you can see there because one bit I did notice when I was in Lightburn there was something actually on the logo here yeah you can see a little hair there going across it or something and even that still shows up slightly in Photoshop but to get around that, just select the brush again and, you know, make the brush a nice size and you can just fill them little tiny bits in like that just to make sure everything's covered. But now, like, you know, it's basically done. So now I'm going to go to File. And for this, I can go File, Export, and Export as a quick PNG name it whatever you want to name it i just wanted to show one more really quick way because if for some reason that you can't get that other you know the other way to work this is a way that will also work sometimes so if you've got something like this even if it's black or white or you know any colors if you double click on the layer over here make sure it's on the right hand side and you get this layer style panel pop up and now this down the bottom here what says blend if you can actually change this to different colors so you can see this one like i want to remove the red so i'm going to go to red and now if you slide it from this end it will start removing the red if you slide it from this end it's going to start removing the black i'm going to take the reds down and you can see how it's you know clearing out all that red once it gets to a certain point like that and i still see a little tiny bit of red if you hold alt you can split this cursor apart and then you can just really you know fine tune it with that 
so you can see that's another way that you can get a good simple cut out if you need to so yep I just wanted to quickly add that one in there because another handy little tip and then in light burn if I find that PNG so now I've got the picture of the PNG in here and you can see how much clearer and now if I try and trace this I could actually just straight etch that as it is but if you did want to trace it to make sure you got a complete etch you can see now whoops let me go over the whole thing you can see now it's getting a good trace of it I'm going to trace this one the best I can so trace image and then I'll do a preview uh, I'll put it on to fill and you can see actually this one look, it's lost the smoke at the bottom it's only got one this one's got three you know like it just it'll give you a lot cleaner graphic so sometimes it's worth taking the extra you know 30 seconds to uh, quickly select the color like that and then say resave it and get it back in the program and you'll have a much better outcome with stuff Yep, just a really quick one there, so thanks very much for watching, and please like and subscribe, and I will put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.